my friends it is crystal and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be cleaning and decorating our small front porch for fall lots of cleaning as well as decorating inspiration ahead for you but here's what is left of our summer front porch just a few things left I've already removed the flowers lots of just dust and dirt, leaves, spider webs, you name it, everything needs to be cleaned. When I transition our front porch from season to season, I usually plan a full day's worth of work. That way it gives me enough time to power wash, let it dry, and then add the decor later in the afternoon. So to get started, I'm just going to remove everything from the front steps. There's also a little rock pile that I need to remove from our steps as well. You'll see it tucked back behind the rocking chair. But we had a little bit of a bee problem over the summer. They were everywhere and they were trying to get into the cracks there in the corner. So quick solution by my husband was to, let's just put some rocks there, but I think we're past that now. power washer that I'm going to be using is the one that I purchased off of Amazon so I will make sure to link this down below in the description box along with anything else that I can in today's video as always but I want to say that this is super user friendly we actually did not own one of these prior to getting this one and it was very easy to learn how to hook up and get going so do not be intimidated if you are. But anyways, I also wasn't really sure if I wanted to power wash or just sweep, but I'm so glad that I took the extra time to do this because it was amazing. I was very happy with how clean everything looked once it was dry. Ew. 
if this is the first video you happen to be watching of mine, I just want to say welcome. I am so glad to have you here. I've shared a lot of fall decorating videos with you, but the fall porch has to be one of my favorites. But if you love anything about home decorating or homemaking, I would love to have you stick around and hit that subscribe button. Wanna put you in that spotlight Looking at you all night Everything is now dry and it's time to take care of cleaning our front door as well and all of the windows, but our door is obviously very dark, so it shows everything, but I do not mind because I love this door. We installed it about a year ago now, I think, at this point. But to clean all the windows, I am using Sprayway Glass Cleaner. It is by far my favorite cleaner to use on all of our windows. And then for the rest of the door, you will see me use the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Cleaner in the Acorn Spice Scent. For our front porch this year, I'm hoping to add a lot of texture and color as well. Since we have dark siding and a dark door, the colors of the pumpkins and the flowers are just going to pop. I think it'll be really pretty. So that is my plan. We'll fill up the porch with moms and pumpkins and a few lanterns as well. And now I'm doing my least favorite cleaning task of the front porch, and that is cleaning the lanterns. They get so dusty inside and out, so just sitting down and taking the time to clean it feels really good, very accomplished. It's now time for the fun part, which is adding all of the decor to my clean front porch. Now, I am going to start with adding a couple of corn stalks because I knew they would be a little bit messy and they're pretty big. I was not expecting them to be this big. My neighbor actually, she texted me over the weekend saying she had a couple of extra ones and I said, sure, bring them on over. And oh my gosh, they are huge. But I am just wrapping them with a bungee cord in the back to keep them connected in a way. And then I also tried, I'm attempting to put a command hook up against the house to kind of hold them in place. Now we've had a couple of windy days since I have put them on our porch, but they have not fallen over. They just lean a little bit. So I think it works, but if you have any other tricks as far as getting your corn stalks straight up against your house, let me know. 
Now I thought they were just a little bit too tall. I did not want them taller than our front door and to look kind of crammed in there. So I did take a little tool that we use for some of our yard work and trim them down and bend some of the branches just a little bit. And of course I created a mess, so I need to clean that up now too. This jute rug is from Target. I found it on clearance. I love the gray and how it matches our siding. And then I'm going to layer on top of it the same doormat I think I've used now for three years. It's from Hobby Lobby and still going strong. But I had posted on Instagram and Facebook a poll, where should I put my corn stalks? And so here I am just giving everyone an update on my phone as to where I ended up putting them. The results were about half and half. Half said to go up against the house and half said to go to the pillar. Ultimately, I went up against the house because we have some extremely windy days here in the Midwest. But now I'm just going to take some time and start putting some of the decor pieces and pots and planters and then just figure out where everything is going to go before I add in the mums and the pumpkins. I'm trying to let go of this heartache. It's been following me around. It wakes me up. To all of our planters and pots, I always use these little plastic trays that you can find at Walmart or any of the hardware stores. They're very inexpensive, but they just help protect not only these steps, but also like any of those plant risers or stands that I am using as well. They're just a good water collector. But I'm just moving everything around. The lanterns I've actually had now for a couple of years, none of them match each other, but I feel like mixing and matching just adds character. These nice little patina planters are ones I've been using for a year now. I love them. I ordered them on Walmart's website. I will make sure to have them linked below, but they're an investment, but I honestly, I can't imagine not having them now. They're so pretty. And then the last planters I'm going to be using are these black ones and they have copper handles. I happened to stumble across these at Menards of all places and I just loved how they look. They're so pretty and definitely go with the vibe that I'm wanting to achieve. So check out your Menards if you are on the hunt for some cute black modern farmhouse looking planters. I'm actually planning to grab a couple of more that I will probably stash away for next year. It's almost time to start adding the mums. Now I picked up a variety from not only Menards, but also Walmart as well. They both had a beautiful selection. But this might surprise you though, I actually do not repot any of my mums. I feel like fall is so short lived in our area. It gets cold very quickly that they don't last as long. So I don't go through all of the work of soil and replanting and I've had, you know, pretty good luck over the years of doing it. So I'm just popping these plants into each of the planters and figuring out what fits where. I always find that it is so hard though to choose which color of moms to go with. So I just picked a variety. I have some burgundy ones, also a very deep yellow, not the bright yellow, and then also some of the more pumpkin, deep, rusty orange colored as well. I'm the ocean
So you'll notice so far on our front steps, I have a lot of neutral colored decor pieces and that's really because I want the color to come from all of the mums and pumpkins. Now at Walmart, every single year, they always have a ton of bins full of fun pumpkins. It's like an autumn mix type selection and you can pick all kinds of different colors, shapes and sizes. And I've seen some people stacking pumpkins like a three tier type pumpkin and I love that idea so I picked up just a fun little mix to stack up by our front door kind of fun To our front door, I'm going to add a wreath that I purchased last year from a local flower farm. She makes the most beautiful wreaths. I actually purchased it kind of mid-fall last year. So I used it last year, I'm going to use it again. You can see it's a little bit wind blown, but it is made out of the most beautiful pompous grass. She just did such a great job. And I just love the texture that it adds. I've also had this pillow for a few years now. I don't think it's available anymore, but I did find a very similar pillow cover over on Etsy. And then to finish off the look and give me that extra little cozy vibe that I feel like all front porches need for fall, I'm just adding this plaid throw. When the autumn leaves are playing, chase it, puts a smile up on my face. The All right, my friends, that is going to be it for today's fall front porch makeover. I am just loving how everything is coming together. We still have a visit to the pumpkin patch where we will add even more pumpkins. I know that is hard to imagine, but we're so happy with it. As always, if you enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. But I do just wanna say thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.